This week we are in a very, very special Range Rover. We are in a Kingsley re-engineered Range Rover. Kingsley re-engineered basically take old Range Rovers and they, well, sort of rebirth them if you like. So you can have a Kingsley reborn, which means that the Kingsley reborn is you take in a donor car and they will nut and bolt, strip it back and restore the car. Or they do a Kingsley re-engineered car, which is what this one is, which means that you can basically choose anything you like. You can take in, still have a donor car, or you can buy a donor car from Kingsley themselves, from Damon over there, who's a lovely, lovely chap. Um, so if you are thinking about buying one of these, go over and chat to him. He's a Range Rover fanatic and has been doing it for many, many years. So this Kingsley re-engineered has a five litre, high torque, high efficiency engine. It has 320 brake horsepower and it has 360 foot-pounds of torque. It's a very, very torquey engine. This one is twinned to an automatic box, but you can get a manual. The manual is the one I would choose, but the automatic does really, really suit the character of the car. This is a wafting sort of car. You don't hustle it, although you can. This one has uprated springs, uprated dampers, so it actually handles beautifully. There's not much pitch and roll around corners. It's, it's incredible, actually, how well it handles around corners. I believe this is off to a new customer, lucky owner in Mexico, and they go around, all around the world. This one is Balmoral Green, which is just wonderful. It's such a good looking color with caramel interior and all these incredible bits of tweed everywhere with box weave Porsche carpets, which are just wonderful. The whole thing, it's just such a nice place to be. You've got all clear glass all round, so it feels like you're in a bit of a greenhouse, but it's you can see everything. The eight pillars are so small. There isn't much feel and feedback through the steering wheel, but who was expecting there to be? It's a 1980s Range Rover. The five litre high torque, high efficiency engine is just a pulling machine. You're just riding this wave of torque, which is just such a nice way to potter around. We're in the Cotswolds today on the Harry Metcalf Road, if you hadn't noticed. And it's just such a lovely way of getting around. It's a lazy big V8. It sounds wonderful. The thing about a re-engineered car, so the reborn cars come back to you as it should have been in period. The re-engineered cars come back, this one has Apple CarPlay. It has a 700 watt speaker system all through in the back, in the front, in the footwells, in the doors, everywhere. So you can actually be in relative luxury. You can have air conditioning. You can have all the other things that come on a brand new Range Rover in your Kingsley re-engineered. But for God's sake, look how cool you look. I had to wear my barber today. I've gone for the sort of, I've sort of fit in with the sort of car. I put a shirt on. It feels so, so special. With all that get up and go that you get with a re-engineered car, you're gonna need to stop. And this car has exceptional brakes. It's a six pot on the front, four pot on the back, and at no point today driving it have I thought, oh my God, it's a heavy old bus going towards the horizon and we're not gonna be able to stop it. It stops absolutely on the button. This one has, again, re-engineered. We use that word a lot because of the company name and because of the re-engineering that's gone into this car. This car has re-engineered wheels as well. So they're slightly bigger they're on tubeless tires, which just, it just means you've got a little bit more of a contact patch on the ground and it, it just works brilliantly in the arches of the car. But in reality, it doesn't really matter about any of those things I've just told you because when you're spending this sort of money, it feels really crude to talk about money when you're driving such a wonderful vehicle. But when you're talking, you know, you're looking at 125,000 to pushing 
£180,000 for something like this, when you're talking that sort of money, it's not about all of those things. It's more about how the car makes you feel. This is an emotive purchase. How cool do you think you'd look pulling up next to your mate in a brand new 2022 plate when you pull up next to him in this that costs similar sort of money on your chute with your Labradors in the back or you can have the mahogany like drinks cabinet in the back with your guns with your pair of purdies coming out the back it's just so so special if this is the sort of thing that you'd like to buy or are thinking about buying something like this like a g-wagon or a, or a range rover or something like that have a think about one of these go and check out kingsley on their instagram and obviously make sure you subscribe to the most flicks channel at the same time mm -hmm.